discuss the IASLC tobacco declaration. Good afternoon. Uh, everybody knows that uh, tobacco is the main cause of uh, lung cancer and other malignancies and also other diseases like uh, heart diseases. But uh, the question of whether smoking after the diagnosis uh, is harmful is not, uh, the, this problem is not recognized. That's uh, why the Tobacco Control and Smoking Cessation Committee developed uh, the declaration uh, addressing this, uh, this problem. The consequences of uh, smoking continuation by cancer patients and survivors, cancer survivors, are many, multiple. First, smoking after cancer diagnosis increases cancer-related mortality and overall mortality. It increases the risk of secondary primary cancer, and there are many examples, not only, uh, not only in uh, cancer patients related to tobacco smoking, but also other malignancies uh, like breast cancer or prostate cancer and many others. It increases uh, treatment toxicity, both surgery, radiotherapy, and systemic therapies. And of course, it is associated with much higher treatment costs, also due to the complications. So the, there are challenges and there are opportunities, and we addressed both. We realized that most smoking cancer patients persist in their uh, habit during treatment and afterwards. And healthcare providers often don't proactively cooperate with their patients to help them to quit by providing tobacco cessation assistance. We have also data on that, uh, some uh, polls, some questionnaires, and we realized this is indeed uh, 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 an urgent need to, to increase this awareness. Diag on the other hand, diagnosis of cancer is the teachable moment, allowing healthcare professionals the best opportunity to discuss with patients their nicotine addictions and shared decision making. So uh, our opinion is that should be an enhanced focus on smoking cessation at the time of a cancer diagnosis and active intervention may increase patients' action to quit. And here is the declaration. The first point, all cancer patients should be screened for tobacco use and advised on the benefit of tobacco cessation, in patients who continue smoking after diagnosis of cancer, evidence-based tobacco cessation assistance should be routinely and integrally incorporated into multidisciplinary cancer care for the patients and their family members. Third, educational programs regarding cancer management should include tobacco cessation training, empathetic communication around history of tobacco use and cessation and utilization of existing evidence-based tobacco cessation resources. Fourth, smoking cessation uh, counseling and treatment should be a reimbursed, reimbursable uh, service. Five, smoking status both initially and during the study should be a required data element for all prospective clinical studies. And finally, clinical trials of patients with cancer should consider designs that could also determine the most effective tobacco cessation interventions. The whole uh, ISLC declaration uh, is in the conference bags of all uh, participants of this conference, is posted on the ISLC website and uh, will also be distributed by other channels. Uh, it will be present at all ILCC events, and we will also plan to contact other cancer societies to make this declaration available for all uh, physicians. Thank you for your attention.